What's good guys, it's Con24, member of the Future Warriors gaming team. I am here today with nothing other than the Sony PlayStation 5. Like, I'm excited for it, I'm sure you guys are excited for it. It's just been released in the UK today. Today, and we've got it already. We've got the accessories for it, we're gonna do an unboxing. We've got a DualSense charging station, we've got the HD camera, we've got the Pulse 3D headset, we've got an extra DualSense controller, the PS5 itself, and we're gonna give you a little sneak peek afterwards of the Miles Morales game in action. But guys, make sure you have liked, subscribed, and put your notifications on, because we're gonna have so much more content coming for you guys soon on this channel. And if you wanna see me live on Twitch, my name is just Khan24, should pop up at the bottom. Guys, I think we've waited long enough, right? So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with a HD camera. Obviously, this is something that I had to get, especially because you guys know already I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch and I need a better camera, so this is gonna be the first step. So let's get into it. Should've got a knife, right? All right, let's go. The boxing is actually quite easy to open, actually. Don't really need a knife. Nice little shape to it. Alright, so we've got a little manual instruction as usual. And here we go. So the camera actually looks okay. It actually looks, I like it. I like the look of it. So if you guys can see, it actually looks great. It looks kind of sleek, nice design to it. It's movable, so that can literally just latch on the back of your, your monitor, your TV screen, which is good. The USB port. And it's got a nice, the texture's quite nice on it. Like, it's actually quite nice. I'm gonna give you a lot of close up as well, a bit, because you can't see it from there, but right underneath, we've got the actual PS4 button logo at the back. I think they've done a good job of it. Like, it's a good design. The features on it that we have so it does have 1080 HD capture. It's got the background removable tools as well, and it's got a built in stand. So it actually is. It's gonna be good and it's HD, so we're not gonna have that bad of quality, we're gonna have better quality, so I'm excited to use this. Next up, we have the DualSense charging station, guys. And for me personally, this is very essential because I always have two controllers. Whenever one's about to die, I would rather just switch in, get out of one, let out of one charge while I'm playing. So it does charge up to two controllers. It does free up a USB port, which is very key for our PlayStations. So you don't have to keep going back and forth, switching things in and out. And it also has a clicking design for it. So let's open it up and let's check it out. So it's got the same type of same type of packaging as the HD camera. Obviously we've got the manual. So we've got the charging wire, the plug for it, and it itself, the charging station. Again, it's got a nice design on it. It does have the same PlayStation aspect of it. We can have out two. We are gonna do another close-up for you guys as well, but it looks looks alright. But I will be when I do open the controller, I will be showing you how it looks with the controller on it, so we see how it goes from there. But I like it. It's got a Sony design. It's got the charging port, charging port right at the back, and it's got like some nice little grips at the end of it to keep it in. <laughs> All right, guys, next we have the Pulse 3D headset. I, look, to be honest, I got this because I wanted to see what it's like. I like the design. It will fit more the PlayStation than the headphones I normally use. And I got excited. I can't lie to you. 
So the feature that this one has is the dual hidden microphones. It's got two hidden microphones. It's got a built-in rechargeable battery. It has easy access controls, a 3.5 millimeter jack, refined ear pads, and a wireless adapter. Like, I'm actually intrigued and excited to see what that has. So let's go, let's get into this. Hope you can open this one quicker. All right, here we go. So this one's a bit different. All right, we've got a quick startup guide. Got another manual for it. We've got something over here. Let's see what's in here. On the right side, nope. All right, so this is the wireless adapter. Plug it into the PlayStation, I believe, or maybe the controller. We've got the, the jack, and we also have, the, I think this is for the charger. So you can see they've changed the charger from the normal Android charger to the Type C, I believe it is, the new model. So we have that, let's get into the rest of it. Oh. So these are the headphones. They feel, they feel actually feel quite light. So for those of you like myself that sometimes don't know what side is going on, we've got the, the indicators for the right and the left hand side. Let's see how it feels. This actually, it actually feels comfortable. I don't, I don't know how it feels over a long period of time. I actually feel comfortable when I can hardly hear anything else around me which is 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 actually unique so we've got the buttons on the side so you can oh i like this feature we can quickly change the chat audio or game chat audio it says off monitor i don't know what that means but we'll see you've got a volume for it you've got a mic as you can unmute and mute yourself the on button the jack and the charging station so it's actually got a nice unique feel for it and you've got the the band look it's very just adjustable whatever head shape you have. Me, I kind of have a, a mad head shape, I can't lie to you, so it's actually good that we have this. But yeah, it looks all good. We'll give you another close up as well, bit. We've got a nice little piece, PlayStation designs around it, so I'm happy with it. Guys, this is the moment that we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for it, I'm definitely sure you guys have been waiting for it. It's the DualSense controller. Like we've had the PlayStation 4 controller and we love the feel of it, we love how it's built. But this has, it's been intriguing to us for the longest amount of time. So let me get straight into it. You got the deals at the back, is the haptic feedback. You got the adaptive triggers, which I'm eagerly excited to try out got a built-in microphone and it's got a signature comfort so i'm intrigued i'm very intrigued i want to see what what makes it so signature like about the comfort what's 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 so unique about it so let's get into it and figure out all right let's go i really just messed up the box okay all right so I'm not gonna to touch it yet because I I'm gonna get into feeling that out, but it looks it looks good. I like the design of it. The colours work, especially with a new white white feel that the PlayStation have in. But let's go. We've got the manual underneath as usual, but let's get into it. This feels nice. Yeah, it feels good. The weight on it is it's got a good weight on it. It does feel a lot lighter. It, I don't know actually, it feels lighter but it feels heavy at the same time. The texture of it is so nice, like the triggers feel... They feel good but we'll see how we are when we're playing games. The button feels nice as well, like the gel. It's like they've changed the colour scheme of the X, the square, the triangle circle. So we don't have colours anymore but it, it works with the controller. The PlayStation button now has changed with just the PlayStation logo. There's a mute. The mute and unmute button on the controller, which is nice, and the grips feels, the grips feel all nice. I'm gonna show you that in a close up. I've just, I've just noticed this, but the grips on the back of the controllers are actually small. 
X's, O's, squares and triangles. That's actually the grips of the controller. And uh, the analog sticks have, I think they look, they look like stars, I think. Yeah, I think they're stars. So it feels good, it actually feels good. The touchpad, it's got a nice feel to it. I can't wait to get into gaming on this, to be honest. So we're gonna see how it's like. Well, we're gonna get you, give you a lot of close up right now so you can see all the features that I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see on the camera. And we'll go from there, guys. You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. Guys, we're here now, we're finally here. We've done all the accessories. Now we are finally at the PlayStation 5. I'm excited to see how it is. We've seen pictures, we've seen videos, but now it's the moment in truth. Like, let's get straight to it. Let's read it back. So we've got, it says lightning speed. So obviously we've all seen the graphics play, the speed of it. We all know how long GTA takes to load up on a P4. It takes about 10 to 15 hours, but with this, apparently it's gonna be very short. I think there's, I think I saw a video that came out to about eight or 12 seconds to load up. It's got breathtaking immersion. So we already know the graphics is gonna be crazy. The controller's got so many different features that we're very excited for to try out. And we've got stunning games. Come on, we already know PlayStation brings out the games. It's got a great variety of games. So let's get into it. Let's unbox this. It's actually giving us instructions of how to open the box, which is quite funny. Guys, it's that time. Can I do this right? Yeah. All right, so the first thing that comes out is another controller. So we have the controller. We've got the quick start. We've got a safety guide. We've got a guarantee. Also, we've got the plug. It's still got the traditional PlayStation thing. Nothing extra on it. So we've got the HDMI wires, and I think this is the stand, right? Oh, before I break it, if I can find where to open it. Oh, there we go. So we have the stand, which I think it benefits. You can actually put it for standing up straight, or you can have it lying down. We'll try it out. All right, guys, it's here. It's here. It's here, guys. I'm excited. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually excited. Hope you lot are as well. It's, it's actually quite heavy as well. I can't lie to you. It's actually quite heavy. I've got a great production team just helping me move everything out of the way, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually, this is actually quite heavy. I can't even lie to you. It's here. It's actually here, guys. Wow. Like, we've had a lot of memes about it already. We all know it is. But I actually, I actually like the design. I actually do like it. It, feel, it looks kind of sleek. Obviously, the front part, we already have the on button. We have the dish tray. The open the dish tray, sorry. We've got the dish tray on the side. We've got the charging station for the controller. We've got a USB port at the front. At the back, at the back, we've got two more USB ports. We've got an Ethernet cable. Well, where we put the Ethernet cable in. We've got a HDMI. We've got a power socket. It actually looks good, and these are all fans at the back. So we've got a lot of fans at the back. Feels quite smooth. 
Again, we have, whoa. Again, we have the PlayStation, the buttons inside of it. So we have the X's, the O's, very small. So it's a lot of attention, attention to detail that I can speak to say. But yeah, it's, it's actually quite big. It's actually quite big. I don't know how we're gonna put it on the stand, to be honest. So I'm gonna try it. All right, guys. So now we've got the stand. We're gonna try to show you lot how we get on the stand. I have <laughs> taken my time to actually figure it out. So yeah, let me show you guys how to do it now. So to have it laying down, we'll do the laying down part first. On the back, we'll do a close up so you can see afterwards. There's some PlayStation logos, like the button logos over here. I think you gotta line it up with this. And also you gotta turn this, swivel this around. And we're gonna have to line it up. So let's try and get this perfect first time if I can. So we line it up with the two squares, push it in, it clips in. And I think that's it. So literally just like that, we get it clipped in and it's kind of sturdy. Let me get it right in the middle actually. It's kind of sturdy, so it's like that. So there you go, that's how you get it on the sideways. To get it upright, we're gonna do the upright. From what I saw, we need to spit, swivel this round to the middle. We have a little secret compartment over here where it has the screw. So we'll pull the screw out. The screw's bottom, like eventually gonna go through the middle at the bottom. There's a little hole right here. Go through the bottom like that. And on the bottom of the PlayStation, from what I recall, I'm trying to hold it, is, gotta take this off. And we got to clip in. I just want to take the screen, put the screen off this. We've got to clip this in as, again at the back so it keeps it steady. So just like that, it's clipped in at the back. And then, I don't know how I'm doing all this, but, and then we're going to put it in. And then obviously you're going to screw it into however you feel fit. So it should stand straight and it'll be quite secure. Also, I haven't screwed it in, guys, so if it's wobbling a little bit, you know why. But then yeah, so we have it in like that, and there we go. So we're gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you a little close up of the PlayStation 5, then hopefully we can just progress to actually plugging it in, doing a startup. Cause what I've heard is there's a startup, the initial startup for the PlayStation 5 that you only get to see once, and then it'll be the normal turning it on. So I wanna get you guys to actually experience that and see how we're gonna play it and see it for yourself for the first time. Yeah, might uh, need a minute. 
bring RPGs to the prison convoy next time, maybe don't bring RPGs anywhere. That's the best you got, Alexei. No, okay, that was pretty good. Get out of here, Spider-Man. You're making things worse. Man, I'm trying to help you. We lost one. Yeah. 